Okay, now for your challenges for the week. I've got two challenges for you, but there's three challenges in total because I want you to keep going on with the challenge that Karen set you last week about looking at a Bible passage and seeing what you can learn from that. My challenges for you this week are that there's a worksheet to complete. It's linked uh, just after this, so if you print it out and fill it in. If you haven't got a printer, just look at it online and see if you can work it out. It doesn't matter if you can't write it in um, and enjoy going over that because that will help reinforce the things that we've learned about what prayer is and why we pray. The second thing I want you to do today is that I want you to make some praying hands. Very often when we pray we put our hands together just to show that we're praying and also to keep our hands away from mischief and distraction. Okay, what I want you to do is to make some hands and to do this you will need an A4 sheet of paper and I would like you to fold it in half like this. What I want you to do next is to put your hand on the paper so that the edge of your hand where your little finger is, is at the fold of the paper, okay? And then you draw around it just so that it looks like this. Hopefully you can see that. I put my hand here and have drawn around my hand um, just so that there's a bit here that whenever you cut out your hand, you'll not cut this part so that the two hands will be joined together. Hopefully that'll make sense. So cut out your hand without cutting the paper the whole way so that it looks, when you open it out, it looks like two hands like this. So I want you to put the hands together, which will be the symbol for your hands being together when you pray. And on it, I want you to write down the ways the word pray. P, er, a, y. Okay, down the ways. And beside the P, I want you to write praise God. Beside the R, I want you to write repent. Repent means to say sorry and really mean it. Beside the A, ah, I want you to write ask for God's help. And beside the yeah, this is a funny one. You don't tend to use this word in normal life. The word, uh, what I want you to write yield to God's will. Yield to God's will means doing what God wants you to do. So I want you to colour this in, write the word pray and write the things beside it. It's all on the website so that you can see what the things are that you have to write. And I want you to stick it up somewhere, put it beside your bed, put it in your Bible, put it somewhere that you will see so that when you see it, you will think, oh yeah, I need to put my hands together and I need to pray. Pray to God whenever it comes into your head. You can pray to God anytime, anywhere, about anything. Just do it. He loves to hear your voice. Can't wait to see your craft.